Hello everyone, this is Bob Peller and CTO Bob, and today I'll be continuing on the WatchGuard theme uh, using our T80. And specifically, uh, one of the questions I had was, how in the world do you upgrade the firmware on a WatchGuard? Uh, it's a little more complex than what, might, what you might expect. And uh, let me go ahead and show you exactly how that works. So we're going to jump on my computer here, and we're going to go over to the WatchGuard.com website. And we're going to go under support. And under support, you're going to want to click on download software. And what we're going to have to do right from the get go is select the model we want. In this case, it's a T80. And two things you're going to see where it says WatchGuard System Manager. In this case, we're looking at a 12.6.2 update 2. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And we're going to go ahead and download that. So it's also known as the WSM for those of you who are searching for it. And so you need to have the latest version of that in order to get the firmware to then send it to the unit. So that's one of the little uh, secrets there. So let's go ahead and start that. And what it will do is basically ask you to install it. And then it's going to ask you what language we're going to go ahead and stick to English and it's relatively fast as you can see. It's a really good idea to put this up to date um, regardless periodically, especially if you're dealing with a lot of different units. This way if you have to connect somewhere and they've got a later version of firmware, you're going to need to have the latest uh, WatchGuard system manager in order to connect to it. All right, so we're finished. So let me go ahead and start that. And of course, naturally, it's in the wrong screen. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to go ahead and connect to my 1.1. Okay, so here we go. So what we've got now is, it's a little small, I, I apologize. What it's showing us here is the unit that it's connected to. And it's going to show us the version. So we had 12.6.1 on there. We're going to be putting 12.6.2. So what we're going to want to do is right click on this, go to policy manager. That will open up a new window, which you'll see in a moment. Go to file. We're going to go to upgrade. And that's where we'd go and select the upgrade. Now, <laughs> before we get to this step, I'm sorry, I should have done this a, a moment ago. Uh, we actually do need to download the uh, the firmware. So what we want is the actually we've got firmware 6.0. 12.6.2 uh, upgrade 3, which is dated 22nd of October. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on here. I'm going to go ahead and save this. And it's not going at all where I want it to go. So I'm going to click on downloads. Here we go. And you then have to run that, which will actually allow the WSM to see the latest version to apply to the unit. So let's go ahead and start that. Okay, so it's saying here. Okay, again, so you got which language you want. And then it says watch guard, here's the firmware, tells you what it's for. And we're going to go ahead and accept it. And it's going to go and save the latest firmware directly on my machine. Okay, so now we're done. So now I can go back into here and now I can click on file upgrade. Now what I need to do is I need to put in the administration password. So in my case, it's admin. Go. Now it's saying which one do you want to apply. So we're going to click on. We're going to click on browse. We're going to go back one. This is six point two. Is that the only one? Okay. So we want six point. There we go. This one here. This one here. This one here. Click on OK. Click OK. It'll be upgraded. You want to go ahead, and we're going to click on yes. 
and it is now uploading the new firmware to it. If you like these types of videos, please give us the thumbs up and it is now rebooting the Firefox and that should be all there is to it. At this point, as soon as it's restarted, we will go ahead and take a quick look. Okay, so at this point, it's gonna ask you if it wants you to upgrade, update, and you'll say yes. And it will go ahead and reconnect. And let's close this for a minute and reopen this. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna disconnect and we're gonna reconnect. And we now have 612.6.2. There is a build number on there as well. So, I mean, that's a sure way of uh, telling if you have the very latest one. And that's how you update a watch guard, in this case, a T80. And it's it's been a very good unit to use overall. You can do uh, VPN from office to office uh, or site to site if you prefer. You could do um, SSL VPNs. You can do IKE version 2. You can, I mean, it's got a lot of versatility in this uh, time of pandemics. It's great because you can allow remote users to get in quite easily. So this is how you would update it. And of course, if you don't have the latest VPN clients, you can visit the website, download that, and uh, follow the instructions for that. So this is all there was to it. The only other trick I'm going to give you regarding WatchGuard is if you go ahead in here and you go into the policy manager and you do some changes, you have to remember not only to save them, but you have to uh, push them back to the firebox, to the, uh, the WatchGuard itself. And as soon as you've done that, then it will actually, as part of that step, it will ask you to do backup. So you perform backup that it pushes the changes to the unit. And at that point, they were active. Because I see a lot of people go in, make some changes, then they wait. And sometimes worse, they just close everything and nothing's been applied. So that's <laughs> one of the little tricks for you. It will force you to do a backup, which I think is a wonderful uh, little quirk. Uh, I know some people get annoyed, but at the end of the day, you do want to have a backup of all the configurations handy just in case anything should go wrong or in case you need to replace the unit for any reason. I haven't seen any of those break uh, in all the different units and all the different models that I've seen from WatchGuard, uh, but they are sturdy. But I mean, you know, <laughs> someone could drop liquids on them or, or something strange. And of course, that would uh, definitely affect them. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. Please send me more questions. I will answer them as best as I can. And uh, go and comment below. Give us a thumbs up if you appreciate it. And please subscribe. This is Bob Pellerin. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.